Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I'm here to get a man named Butts off of a crime. Let's solve it. Alright, so, let me see. Let me look at the... No, I need to look at the... Oh, first of all, I need to save. 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 Yes. Alright, let's go back. Go back. Time of death constantly was between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, day before the murder. The day before the murder. 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. Johnny was in a hurry because he left the door half open. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Not really dead. Oh, the phone in the apartment wasn't working. No. Because... She was dead at... No, where is she? I think it's right here. She literally is dead between 4 p.m. Time of death was 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And he found her at 1 p.m. So that's impossible. Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m.? You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Oh, this is also very good music. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the same death happened sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to where, no body to find at no 1 p.m. How do you explain the three hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, er. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Slot, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? Well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. It's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? See, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying time. It was probably coming from the television. That's impossible. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. I'm pretty sure where this one's coming from. Mmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Okay, first, let me save. I'm constantly saving because I remember the one thing I do remember about Phoenix Wright is that if I mess up three times, it's an automatic, like, I fail the, I fail the entire mission, <laughs> so. Let's go back. See, when I found the body, I heard the time. Because how can you? Oh no, it was from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has to be it. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah. Well. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Solid? No, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Wait. 
I remember now. Mr. Solid, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Really, the guy whose, like, wig is flipping out all the time is uncredible, Your Honor? Really? You seem rather distraught. My apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been a shock finding the body. Very well, Mr. Solid. Let's hear your testimony one more time, please. This guy's gonna fucking go down, watch, hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock at the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. Uh, the killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Actually, I hear the time I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Moving quickly again. Save. Now, let's go back. Now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this thing ain't a clock. Wait just a minute. Moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now how is it supposed to be a clock? You with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw It. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? It's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. Doesn't sound like a clock I submitted as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony was correct. That is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yeah, dude. Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in the witness testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testifies that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless, baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Look at this man. Looking like a white Dalson. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that day, I never... Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, wait, I mean, I saw, saw, mm. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her, and he, he should burn, burn, give him death. How come he has his hair back? Order, order in the court, I say. Your honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright, your honor, you claim the sound of the witness heard from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. Better think of it carefully, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Saw heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply examine the clock's batteries. 
me once again save. Um, back. I don't think it's asked the neighbors. Try sounding the alarm. Here in this court. Your Honor, may I have this clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. As you can see, the clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely this, this discrepancy between Mr. Saw and Heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Saw it, try to talk your way out of this one. Ha, ha, ha. You forget one thing. Uh oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it's three running? How do you know it's running three hours slow the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it, I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the con- Wow, really? I came all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. Criminal, your lawyers are all slime. Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Saw it. Mia, I mean Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. That doesn't mean you can still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time down in the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, you'll have your proof. Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere you can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. You say the clock was running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found the evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim being without a doubt. Ha, tough word. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves the clock was running slow. Uh, pretty sure it's this. This is the only thing left. Take that. Take that! The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's a 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when the when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw it? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Ugh. KO'd. Order, order, I say. Is that not proof enough, dude? Well, this case was certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. He er, was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor, I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... The court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. <laughs> There's confetti in the court? Oh, I love Phoenix Wright. And with that, the court is adjourned. Adjourned? Adjured. Adjourned. Turns out the Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check out to see what people were out in their homes that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. 
After he left, Mr. Saw let himself to do his dirty work. While he was searching our place, the victim was retur returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Whack. Killing her. Killing her. That blood is freaking red, man. I also have a sleepy leg. Oh, God. Ooh, I still can't believe we won. Right, good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own hard battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chiefs looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong with now? Aw, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait. No. I mean bad. Bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. Yeah. Um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. I mean, I don't really blame Butts over here for doing what he's doing. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't you make you want to cry? Larry. Are you sure? Are you so sure? Nick, squeeze me. I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't have to sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Simp. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves she felt... She felt about him? Do I? Huh? Oh yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? I'm gonna assume it's the statue. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive is you weren't just a chump to her. Huh? What about the clock? That clock. This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. We'll make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. I hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. Really now we know if you're if our we never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow. Strong. I said that weird. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think your work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. See, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to the innocent butts. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him? Er, yeah, part, at least. You'll have to tell me more of that sometime. Maybe over drinks? Hell yeah. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave me. I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. The end. Dun dun dun. Brand new episode has been added. 
Saving content? Yes. Yep. All right, and that's it for Phoenix Wright. I hope you enjoyed this quick diversion away from Gachi Games. Uh, maybe I'll come back to some more Phoenix Wright. Maybe on the weekends. You know, that way I can do longer videos because I assume having... It's better that way. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.